All right, we're on a 2006 Pursuit 34 foot center console super machine fishing boat starting out here at the helm. We've got the uh, twin Raymarine hybrid touch, uh, touch screen, digital multifunction uh, gauges or screens rather. Uh, each one of them do a multitude of things. You get chart plotter, sonar, radar, weather radio. You can control your stereo. What about engine controls? No engine controls. Okay, so you can see a screen there. And then we've got the chart plotter over here. You got a thousand watt clear pulse digital sounder with CP100 chirp down vision, uh, which is definitely nice to have. Uh, over here you got your trim tabs, we've got uh, inputs for the stereo, you got all your switches here, you've got a potential of four fish boxes, all insulated, but uh, usually they're used uh, two, you know, as fish boxes and maybe one is a dry locker and one is a cooler. Um, there's your cockpit spreader forward lights, you've got underwater lights on the vessel, we'll see those when we get outside. You got your VHF, there's your fusion remote for your stereo. So you can use the stereo there or on the, the plotter. We got Yamaha digital uh, throttle here with the Raymarine autopilot. autopilot. There it is. It's a 3480 center console pursuit. Got a nice stainless steel Edison wheel. There's our uh, point pad for the spotlight. remote spotlight. We got all our uh, breaker switches here. Uh, old fashioned compass out front. We got a nice plexiglass windshield, but you also have three pieces, three sides of uh, Isinglass as well. Uh, up top, we've got a storage box with speakers and lighting built into it. Got our uh, outrigger posts up there. And this is all beautifully polished uh, aluminum tubing. Hard top. All right, moving forward, we've got uh, lots of locker storage. Uh, you got two dry store boxes up front. You got two fish boxes, uh, one on each side that you can use for rod storage as well. Or extra ice, okay. And then you've got two utility access boxes. Uh, there's one here and there's one aft. Uh, this one controls your fuel tanks. And the fuel tank capacity four, is? We have four tanks with a total of 375. Four tanks with a total of 375 gallons. So that gives you a range of? 375 miles. 375 miles, okay. All right, you get your fuel filters down there. And there is a set of cushions that goes up front here. Uh, if you wanted to take advantage of that. Uh, what was in here? Okay, some more access. This panel up here. Okay. All right. So fresh water wash down down there, and that panel comes off a little differently, obviously. And then we've got a, a front access center console, which has uh, a built-in head, and you got a waste management system with the pump out. And you get two, are these house batteries or cranking? House batteries are there, cranking batteries are down below. Okay. Behind the toilet. So you got four batteries total. And that's a four bank charger? Yep. Okay, cool. So you get all your breakers here. Um, redundant breakers. All new switches, looks really good as your uh, Raymarine uh, network stuff. You got your fusion head unit there. JBL Marine. Amp, do you know how many watts it is? Okay. Uh, looking at the numbers, it looks like a 600 watt. But uh, you use this as a head. You got lighting in here. You got ventilation. Uh, very neat and nice. A set of steps that goes in there that's not in there now. In the okay. So there's steps that go that you can step down and certainly uh, almost standing room in there. All right. All right, and uh, as we mentioned, there's uh, jail audio speakers throughout the vessel. You got tweeters. Under gunnel lights, LED lighting. Okay, 
undergone all LED lights. I didn't see those. It's a self-draining cockpit. You got show power on the boat. Uh, beautiful bolstered uh, seats that are adjustable front to back. You got the drop down thigh rise bolster. Excellent condition. Uh, not a scratch on them. And looking back in the cockpit, you've got a huge amount of space back here. Uh, two fish boxes in the floor. And uh, I could probably fit in there. A couple of me could probably fit in there. And you got one on each side. And in the middle, this is the rest of your utility access for yeah, your, your macerator pumps, your trim tab motors, your live well switch. There's the transducers down there. You got bilge pumps down there. You got your everything. Easy yeah, that is uh, easy access. I could fit in there probably and move around a little bit, but not so much where you're taking storage away from the rest of the vessel. Okay. And then uh, out back here on the uh, the rear platform, we've got uh, tackle storage, you got drawers, and then we've got uh, utility storage in there. And then over here, you got more uh, tackle storage. All right, you got a cutting board built in. You got a nice big fat uh, tr transom door. You got your fresh water and raw water. And what? Oh. And then there's uh, more tackle storage in the in the seating. Under the seat, you got a gigantic live well, which is rounded, blue, Lighting. lighted. Aerated, keep your uh, your bait fish nice and happy in there. All right, here's the power plant. Uh, we got the twin Yamaha four-stroke 300s, Sea Star hydraulic steering. You see the Ray Marine mechanism there for the autopilot. Uh, you got a waste pump out back there, and we'll go take a look at the outside of the vessel next. All right, again, we got these beautiful Yamaha 300 four strokes. Uh, they are the F300 XCA model. You got your 19 degree or 19 pitch props, stainless steel. You got underwater lights in the vessel, trim tabs. These are the Cape Plain racing trim tabs. You got lots of underwater lights, so I'm sure it'll light up the area very nicely you've got a heavy very heavy duty trailer here with three uh, what size tires are these 235 85 16s 18,000 pound trailer there you go you got two disc brakes on each side so there's a total of four and that is a super heavy duty trailer it's got a electric uh, braking system on it Beautiful vessel. AC shed. Captain and air conditioned shed. That sets a strong point there. That's why it's in such beautiful condition. Very well kept by a meticulous owner. Washed and flushed every time it's used. So, great boat. All officers are welcome.